Welcome to how to create a video game trailer using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. To begin, we will create a new project by double clicking New Project. Here, I wouldn't recommend messing with any of these settings because it won't matter if you're creating a video game trailer. Choose your location by clicking Browse and putting it whatever you want. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And here, change the name of whatever you want your project to be called. I'm going to call it Tutorial. Here, if you're using a camera, which you aren't if you're creating a video game trailer, you would choose the settings specific to your camera. I'm just going to press OK. You can change the sequence name if you want, but I'm just going to leave it as Sequence 1. Here you have your workspace. Mine's going to look a little different from the default because I've modified it for my convenience. If you want to go back to the default, if you've modified your sequence, simply go up to Window, Workspace, and then click Editing. Now in order to actually create a video game trailer, you're going to need some footage or clips. To get these clips, you must know where the clips are. Mine are in a folder I've created called Destiny, and within it, a folder called One. I'm just going to pick a random clip, and all you have to do is drag it over into Premiere Pro and drop it into this area up here. Project, colon, whatever your project is. And then to bring it into your sequence, all you have to do is drag it into your sequence. I would recommend changing the sequence settings if all of your clips have the same settings so that your project will look the same throughout. Also, it will make sure that it's in full screen in this area here and not a minimized version. Now, obviously, for the sake of time, I won't be creating a full video game trailer. However, I will just be showing you the basic steps that I used to create it and showing you some of the tools that were necessary to create a trailer that are within Premiere Pro. To start out, you need to find the sections of the clips you bring in that you want to actually incorporate into your trailer. You do this by taking this little yellow knob here and dragging it to the desired area of which you want to select the clip. For the sake of time, I'll just say it's right here. Now, say you wanted a section that was from about here to about over here. To do this, you simply go over here to this tool here called the Razor Tool, click it to select it, line it up over the red line, and click to cut the clip. Then simply move the yellow knob and the red line over to where you want to stop and click that. Then simply use your razor tool again to cut the clip once more. Now you have a section of clip that you can use. If you don't want the extra two pieces of the clip, simply select your selection tool again select the extra clip and delete it by pressing the delete key. Now you have a section of clip without any extra fluff. Now let's say that the clip you have selected is just a little bit too slow for your taste and you want the clip to play at a faster rate. To increase the speed of a clip, simply make sure the clip is selected right click, scroll down until you see speed and duration, click that, and then you can either change the speed by percentage or by duration. To increase the speed by twice the speed, simply change it to 200%. You can also reverse the speed of a clip. The other two I'm not sure what you would need them for for this particular project. When you're done, Click OK. 
Let's see what the clip looks like at two times speed. A lot quicker than it would be. To see what it'll look like at normal speed, I will now reverse the duration back to 100%. I'm a bit farther along in the tutorial right now, but I realized I forgot to mention how to actually begin playing your clip. You simply have to press the space bar, and it will play wherever the yellow knob and red line are at in your sequence, making sure that you're on the Premiere Pro program. And to pause, simply press spacebar again. At some point, you're going to need to add multiple clips together. In Premiere Pro, this is a very simple process. For the sake of time, I will simply use the clip source that I had before, and we'll drag it into the sequence. And now I will simply cut out another section of clip which I wish to add to my other clip. And I will cut it out using the razor tool as I did before. And I will also delete the extra fluff. Now all I simply have to do is select the clip and drag it back over to where my other clip is and simply line up the edges. Say that this clip right here was the beginning of your trailer and you wanted to introduce it by adding a title. To do this, simply go up to title, click go to new title, and then choose either default still, a roll, or a crawl. I will simply choose a still. You can name it whatever you want, however I will just leave it as Title 1. Here is where you will create your title. There are a variety of fonts to choose, as well as some other options you can mess with if you, to create your perfect title. To add text, simply drag a text box onto the screen, and then type whatever you choose. Remember, you can choose a variety of fonts to make your tutorial, to make your title, perfect. And all you have to do is click out the X button. It saves what you've done for you. Perhaps now I will show you how to move multiple sections of clip. Simply drag around the clips you want to move and drag them to where you want them. To add a title, simply go to the title and drag it onto your sequence. You can either add it with the clip or you can add it in front. I will add my title in front. Now let's see what it does. Now you can also change the length of your title by selecting the title and then moving your mouse until you create a red arrow. Simply drag in the direction in a direction to increase the length of your title. Now if you didn't notice before, the transition from title to clip is a little choppy. To fix this, you can add a transition 
to do this, go up to these tabs up here, click Effects, go to Video Transitions, click the drop down arrow, and there's a variety of subfolders. The most common ones that I use were in the subfolder Dissolve. You can choose from a variety of, a variety of Dissolve dissolves to fit your liking. I will choose Film Dissolve. Simply add it onto your title or onto your clip. I will add it onto my title. Now let's see what it looks like. One more time. You can also add to the beginning to introduce your title. I will choose Dip to Black for this. That looks a lot better. While creating my trailer, I found there were times where the audio associated to a clip was unnecessary, or I wanted the audio from another clip to play under one of my clips present in my sequence. To do this, I needed to separate the audio and video from, from each other. To do this, simply select a clip right click and scroll down and click unlink. The audio and video can now be selected separately. I will do the same thing with this clip. And now to show the effects of, of placing different audio with different video, I will switch the two around. and now I will play it. Notice how the audio does not match up with the video now, as the two audio clips have been switched. If for whatever reason you're finding that you don't have enough space in your sequence to work with your clips, you can add more space by right-clicking above video 3 and add a tr to add a track. Simply click OK. A new video track has been added, as well as a new audio track at the bottom. You now have all of the tools and tactics within Premiere Pro that I use to create my video game trailer. Now all that's left is exporting your project. To do this, Make sure that the red line is lined up at the beginning of your clips. Then go to File, and make sure you're within Premiere Pro. Then go back to File, go down to Export, click Media, and now it will begin exporting at the point where you place the yellow knob and the red line, and will end at the end of your clips. Now you can either choose Export or Q. I would recommend choosing Q, and it will open another program and will make it so that you are still able to use Premiere Pro while your project is exporting. You can change these settings to your desire and make sure to choose them based on the quality of the clips that you have within your project. I will now click Q. The program that opens is called Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder CS6. All you have to do is make sure that your sequence is selected and not any other sequences that you possibly have created, and simply click play. 
I will not click play because I have no desire to export this project. That is it. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to create a video game trailer using the tools within Adobe Premiere Pro. Be sure to check out my trailer if you want to see the finished project, product of all of my work. Thanks again. Goodbye.